Okay, in this video, we'll take a look at exporting assets out of Adobe Illustrator. So in Illustrator, I have this uh, layout here uh, for a web page, and I need to export some of these assets um, so that I can code up the page. And I'm looking through this design, and there are, these are the things that I really need from Illustrator, so these illustrations need to be exported. And so Illustrator has something called the uh, asset exports. So if I go to the window menu, uh, down to asset export, uh, you'll see this panel come up here and you can drag image files into here and then you can set up all the settings and export from that. So I'm going to select the artwork here and I'm just using some shortcuts to make sure that's selected. And then you want to group them. Command G is the keyboard shortcut from that. And then you can drag the artwork into the asset ex export panel. And I'm going to just give it a name that references the section. So home helper for this one. And then I'll do the same for this. So I'll select the circle, holding down the shift key, selecting the artwork within it. Make sure you group it. If you don't group it, it's gonna make two separate assets. So you wanna make sure that you group it. And this is professional plus. And then I wanna select this last one here, office worker. Make sure you group it, drag it into the panel and give it a name, office worker. Now um, we can grab whatever other assets that we want to in here. So even this is an image asset. I can drag that into the panel and I can call this building real. Okay, and then you have export settings and the export settings uh, right now are the JPEG, um, but that can be changed um, if you want to. So, and then whatever you have selected will be what gets exported. So for example, if I select these first three files um, and what I want to do with those is I want to make sure they're PNG eight files and that's gonna give a suffix of this. And then there's a dialog box here to uh, show you the export for screens, which you can also access from the file menu. So these three files, or the th three assets are selected. You can see the checkboxes on them. Um, there's a location. I'll put this into that assets folder on the desktop, let's say. And then open location after export. Create subfolders for scale. Uh, that's going to create, uh, if you have the scale set to 2x or 3x or 4x or whatever, then it'll create folders for those versions. So for example here, I'll just choose 2x. And then if I click export assets, it'll export them and it'll show me the folder. So the folder that I created, here are the assets that I exported out of Illustrator. Uh, and notice that it shows me that these are at two times the size. Um, it, then if you want to go back here, I'm going to choose, let's say a JPEG 80 for this. And only this one is selected. Without going into the additional dialog box, I can just, you know, just these settings are all that I need. Click export and then save. And then it tells me that it exported that additional file as a JPEG and you can see that indeed it did. And that JPEG file now is exported. Illustrator, um, the, so that's how you use the asset exports. You can also go to file, export, or export selection. That'll bring up the same dialog box that we saw earlier. But under export, you can export as, which we saw in Photoshop, same basic idea. And then you also have the export save for web legacy where you have all the different settings that we saw in Photoshop. So uh, these dialog boxes are very similar, except 
when you choose this setting, it's going to export the entire artboard, not the individual assets. So that's exporting assets out of Illustrator.